This tutorial will introduce you to filtering in SPIP. You'll find the filtering tools on the Modify tab. You can apply filters to both profiles and images. For now, we'll operate on an image. You can use filters to remove artifacts, reduce noise, and enhance features, which will help you get robust measurements. Of course, you can also use filters to create nice presentations of your images. SPIP offers various filters for different purposes. This allows you to remove noise and artifacts without distorting the entire image. In this case, we want to remove the bright streaks without blurring or distorting the background grid. You can use one of the built-in filters, that is, despiking, streaks, and bright. Now the streaks have been removed, and the background grid is still intact. Not only does the grid look much nicer now, any measurements you take on this image will be far more robust as they will not be affected by the random artifacts. In this image, we want to remove the outlier particles on the surface. For that purpose, we will use the Remove Outliers dialog. We'll select Particles to have particles removed. Then we'll set a threshold. Please note that the threshold is linked to the color bar marker. The safest approach is to keep the threshold high, so we'll set it to 99%. Now we must select the exchange method, that is, how to generate new values when the particles are removed. Since this surface exhibits vertical structures, we'll select Vertical Interpolation. You can always choose to mark the areas as void if none of the other options are suitable for your surface. Now we can go ahead and press Apply. Since we kept the threshold high, only a few particles were removed. We can simply press Apply multiple times until all the unwanted particles have been removed. Please note that you can use the Area of Interest tools if you do not want to operate on the entire image. Thank you for your attention.